Hey guys, welcome back to Team Pandori. Recently, we've done a review on the A500 Mini. We've checked out two soft mods. I like it hard. As well as poking our feet into a little hackery. I didn't know you enjoyed s and Today, we're going to check AGS-2, an easy-to-navigate launcher for the A500 Mini. The list is in alphabetical order, packed with demos and games from the A500 all the way to the CD32. So relax, grab yourself a drink and enjoy the ride. On the Facebook, we found this forum post by Paul Vince. He's converted and adapted Major Volps AGS to be used by the A500 Mini. Download the links from the files in the description and then stick in your USB drive. This needs to be formatted to FAT32 MBR and then we can double click here. Now give it the drive letter of your USB stick. If you don't feel comfortable with using an EXE file, you can use WinRAR to extract the contents to your USB stick. This will take a few minutes, but you can spend that in the README file. Take note on the configuration options here. If I could choose, it'd be seven of nine, don't tell Bevo. Once we're finished, we need to safely eject, and then insert the USB stick into our mini. Similar to the other soft mods, we need to head off to our USB stick. We'll just open it, and then choose one of the configuration files. Most things should work with AGS Mini A1200. Or to make the games more compatible, we can use any of these A500 options. We're going to check through a few games now, and we're going to start with the fast copper option. On the first boot, it will copy over some files, and then it will show the AGS title screen. Give it a few seconds, and then the menu will appear. Divide it into multiple sections, from demos to games, even in multiple languages. Entering one will give us an alphabeticalized list so we can quickly find the game we want to play. Let's find Jim Jimmy Jim Jim. Is that your best pilot voice? So you know Muppets Treasure Island, eh? That was a good one, like your mom. With a mouse, we can select some of these options, but remember the quit key at the bottom. She had a nice bottom. Dude. Here we go. Uh. It's still not 100%, but it definitely is much more playable than stock. It's certainly nice to have the additional configurations at your fingertips. When you wish to exit, you'll need to bring up the virtual keyboard, and then go down to the quit key. We'll go to F10, then hit it to quit it. This will bring us back to the games menu. For two-player games, we'll need a USB hub. Stick this in, and then into here we'll stick the controllers. There's the Hori Arcade stick, and the one that came with the Mini. We also have the Logical K400 in for keyboard and mouse. With the AGS menu up, push F12, and then go down to Input. In port 0, we need to change this to the other controller. And then on the right, we can either choose Joystick or CD32 Pad. Once this is set, we can use the arrow keys, as well as shift and tab, to navigate the menu. We'll need to go down to the bottom, and then push right a few times to hit resume. Now any game we start will have both controllers in the ports. Now we can have a nice game of football with a friend, and instead of using a ball, we'll use a grenade. A what? I'd rather use a crush gun, like a poor Car Hill student. We could even get the groove on with Lotus 3. Me and Beverly make these noises at tea time. Ha ha sha. There is no slowdown as Cool Coyote sings happily to this merry tune. I want to buy this guy a drink. He's the coolest. In game, it is playable but the graphic glitches can be annoying. You could cover that up with duct tape. I will need to peel it off Wesley's stupid face first. When using the regular A500 option, there is a little slowdown, but with no glitching. Turrican 2 plays like a champ. Can you put this on tape for me? Need some banging tunes for my Ford Fiesta. 
Provided you have a mouse and keyboard handy, Frontier works great. It takes advantage of the higher speed CPU, so there's little slowdown and it's very smooth. You suck at this game. Next time, I'm Captain. I am John Luke Super Captain. This is playing at full speed, no problem. Watch me kick but stab things with my hard sticks. This book's a good one, and in most countries. A steamy novel by Zio J. Here's Rick Dangerous, working great. Base Jumpers is a fun little platformer to play with your friends. Collect letters, make words, and then jump off a building. You are seriously terrible at game. I know. Here's Banshee for the A1200. And Extreme Racing. This is using the AGS1200 setting. To make it run a little smoother, you can shrink the screen size. Here's some great intro music. Oh, never been so much fun. Oh, never been so much fun. Oh, never been so much fun. With this version for the CD32, we can play using the gamepad. If you wanted to use the mouse, the regular version's on here too. There are some beta games on here. This one's Deep Core on the CD32. Feels a bit like gods. I survived the Borg. I am a god. Now buy me a Magnum ice cream. Even with having so many configurations to choose from, not every game worked perfectly. Here's a good example, Second Samurai. And also, it came from the desert. To get better compatibility, we're pretty sure we'd need to either update Amiberry or acquire another emulator. Let's finish off with a demo with DJ John Luke. Hey, my name is John Luke. The fakers make me want to puke. We have this a 500 mini hack in the bag. Your god complex makes me want to gag like Beverly when it's tea time. Come at me, bro. It's crazy to think that the A500 mini has only been out for one month, and we already have a very accessible games and demo launcher. Things can only get better as Paul has updates on the way, as does Amiga Inside and a mini Amiga then a hack, and then perhaps the developers of Amiberry can get an Amiga Mini for their hard work. Right? Anyway, we're just going to finish off with a big thank you to all of those on our Patreon. Thank you. And here's one of my favorite Amiga demos from Budbrain. Catch you later, guys. Yo, check this out.